heaven oh hi my name is jeff seberg jeff Ringo, singer songwriter jeff pa to my five children and i'm asking for your help yes it's gonna be like a telethon like uh let's get those calls let's get those phones ringing bring in the money i am trying to create a new cd um and it will require funds and this is the last CD in case uh, if you're a family or friend, you probably have heard this CD or some songs from it on Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music, YouTube, etc. It's it's out there in all those venues, more or less. Um, it's called Jeff Ringo. I'm Jeff Ringo and Ultra Joe. And the album's called Birdman 50. I did this four years ago. So in case you are interested in helping me out and you want to see what the finished product of the new CD will be, here's some old songs. A couple of my favorites, of course, the first one, Flight of Fancy, and the last couple songs, Land of Dinosaurs, Onward Through the Fog. I'm moving onward through the fog right now. And my new album is going to be called Goat Parents 44. Songs um, about my parents. They are the greatest of all time. So Goat Parents, 44 is the year they were born. Um, unfortunately, last year, uh, they both passed away. Very shocking. Uh, life-changing experience and it spurred on a, a whole bunch of new songs and ideas so that's why I am creating a new um, album of music that I want to share with everybody you know am I a musician I don't know I'm a singer and a songwriter I like to play rhythm guitar and, and, and write words to go to it I'd like to um, just sing you some of the choruses to some of these songs you know so you can get a taste of what this album might sound like and it's basically rock and roll or indie rock, I guess. And um, this is what it sounds like. Uh, the first one goes like this. Future memory He thinks it so it shall be Future memory. Um, you know when you have an appointment uh, that you write down in your calendar, your appointment book for the dentist uh, two months from now? That in the future you have a memory of when you were writing that down and it becomes a future memory something like that i read that somewhere and those two words uh, i extrapolated and it became a whole song so uh, a lot uh, a lot of fun with that one that i wrote about a year ago next i have this shield i have this shield i have this shield of senseless Optimism. Um, online, I found this group, incredible uh, musician um, that is called Senseless Optimism. And she uh, wrote a whole bunch of songs and I listened to them and, and man, they, they're great songs, good stuff. And she covers some people as well, great voice. Anyway, Senseless Optimism, those two words resonated with me of who I am, uh, what's I feel like I feel like I'm an optimistic person, at least up here in the brain, um, in the mind. And it, why? Why am I so optimistic? Well, this song kind of explains it a little bit, or you know, just the idea of it all. And um, yeah, there's there's the second song. I'm kind of giving you these songs in the order. I think they'll appear on the CD. I'm not sure if they'll stay in this order because when they get produced and I start listening to them and understanding, they might change and move around. The next one. My father, we have props. We have some props here. My father had this, wrote, uh, made this painting uh, years ago, and he talked about the stream of life. He was up here in Maine, in Rangeley, um, at the Wilhelm Reich Museum. Um, if you don't know anything about Wilhelm Reich, uh, there's an interesting fellow. So take a look at Wilhelm Reich. And um, so it spurred my father to, to write, you know, a... A painting and narrative on life by by my father so he has a few pages about that and the stream of life well I kind of again took a little bit from it not much actually and created another song called the river of life and I'll just read this is actually the beginning of the song it's gonna start off very quiet I'm not gonna get it just right right here but up in the mountain a snowflake floats down to the river to which it is bound melting forever free flow found the warmth of the world oh 
awakens the sound, the sound of the river, the raging river of life. And I'm really going to get throaty in that chorus, and, and maybe screaming even, I don't know. The raging river of life. Kind of hurts though. Anyway, that's the river of life. It kind of incorporates the seasons. And a batting cleanup in this uh, lineup of songs would be the song All By Design. Now, this, this, is, this is actually a poem my father wrote, and I did sing it at his uh, celebration of life. And um, it goes something like this. Safe boat, oh, sail on, sail on, all by This song may have like kind of a Jimmy Buffett, you know, feel to it, who passed away, what, not a month or so after my father did. So I, I envision that maybe if you believe in these things, uh, my father said, hey, come on up, we need a concert. Um, because my father enjoyed Jimmy Buffett. That was, I'd say, one of his favorite artists to listen to. And he would go to the concerts and, you know, be a parrot head. Um, next song. Next up on the list is Goat Parents 44, which is the title of the album, if I did not already say that. Up there on the wall is the painting that is on the cover. So, um, yeah, this one kind of talks about sailing, you know, and sailing when I was um, a teenager or whatever, we would go sailing on, on a sailboat, Catalina sailboat, 30 foot. And the name of the sailboat was All By Design, like the last song, um, because my father was an architect uh, my mother was an interior designer. They worked well together for a while, um, but then, then they didn't, so wh whatever. All right, that's another story. We're not going into that right now, but uh, the sailing part, the sailboat was called All By Design because, you know, life by design, I guess, but also being an architect, the sailboat was bought with money that he got with his business, so it was all by design, and, and um, there you go. But anyway... It's going to be a fast-paced song, but here's part of it. Uh, we were, we, it's up here, down here. We were sailing, yes, we were sailing. Across Buzz's Bay to greet another day. Um, that, I did not sing that the way it should be sung. Don't worry, be happy now. Um, that's going to be um, a nice one. That, that, it's gonna, I guess I really can wail out this song once I get going, but Sailing with my goat parents In 63 they caught their gust of wind Yes, we are sailing Yes, we are sailing Yep, Cleveland Edge Light will light the way Um, Goat Parents 44 Next up, um uh, you know, is your basic love song. And, you know, my parents were two teenagers in love at one point, and I usually use the capo for this up here on the third fret, so I'm not going to sing this one exactly correct either, but, and I think this is going to have a Buddy Hall feeling, feeling to it, but part of the chorus sounds to me like a Bee Gees thing, so we'll see. My love is yours, your love is mine, forever part of the chorus thing is uh, two hearts pure strong and everlasting ah love something like that again it's usually a little higher up in the next key um, I don't I don't know how that works or what key this is key of C G I, I don't know I don't understand I just like to wail away on the guitar and strum and, and write my words so there you have it. There's a little tidbit from each song that I have so far. There's going to be 10 songs to it right now. I have six, um, two in the works, one about uh, a pen pal my mother had in Japan, which, of course, I never knew about. Or nobody did, uh, I, you know, that I know knew, uh, because you learn these things when people pass away, and you look through their things, and you find things. Very interesting. So songs like that will be in there, and, yeah, uh, I hope you can help out. And... Um, 
I'll have different tiers. So if you donate twenty dollars, you get the CD, signed CD. You know, fifty dollars or something, you get the T-shirt. I definitely gonna throw in like random pieces of artwork. You know, um, I don't know. I'm just gonna grab one here. Well, this is Sugarloaf, but you know, maybe you'll get a Sugarloaf painting. I don't know. Um, but eight by ten inch. You know, if you donate a hundred dollars, you get a free painting. So yeah, that's that's what's going on with me right now. I am working on this new endeavor and I hope that you can help. Thank you very much. Adios.